and welcome to Nihongo Quick Lesson. I'm Rena Yamada, and joining us here today is. Aha! Hello, everyone! My name is Mr. K, loyal assistant to the professor, and together we will teach you practical Japanese phrases which you can learn quick, quick in no time. Now, Rena,、mm -hmm. how about we introduce my ever loyal assistant for this show? I believe it's you who is the assistant, Mr. K. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Grand Sensei of Japanese, Professor Kindaichi. We look forward to teaching you easy to learn Japanese phrases. The following is especially popular amongst the Japanese, so please pay close attention. It's great to have you here, Professor. Now, let's take a look at the following. Hi, I'm Paul. I've been here in Japan for about six months. I've still got a lot to learn about Japanese, but it sure is fun trying a new language. You just heard the following phrase. Otsukare sama. Otsukare sama. This is a common farewell greeting used in such diverse areas as a workplace. That's correct. Now, why don't we take a look at three examples of its use? お疲れ様。お疲れ様。Okay, now I know where you can use this phrase. In the first example, Paul's boss says "Otsukare sama" to his employee just before he leaves the office. Yes, he's basically thanking everyone in the office for a hard day's work. In the second. They're thanking each other for a good game of tennis. And in the third, Paul's stylist at the salon says, "Otsukare sama des" to him when done. Correct. Adding "des" to "otsukare sama" makes the phrase more formal. But Mr. K, if the stylist did all the work. Why he saying "otsukare sama" to Paul? Shouldn't it be the other way round? Um. Uh, Are you okay? What's wrong? I wish I was Professor Kindaichi.、Oh. Professor, help me. "Otsukare sama" という言葉は "otsukare sama" is used as a kindly summation of any newly completed task or activity. Typically used by employers and teachers, or amongst colleagues and friends. In the third example, while the stylist may have been doing all the work, Paul did have to stay in one position for the whole time, which does require some energy. Hence, him telling Paul, "Otsukare sama des" when done. Let's try saying it together. "Otsukare sama." Otsukaresama. Any time you have the opportunity to use it, give it a shot. Hi, my name is Kanjiyama Mai. So, ready to learn some more Japanese? 
Don't worry, just watch carefully, and you'll be fine. By the way, I love baseball. <laughs> So watch it, feel it, and grab it. Easy as pie, isn't it? Until next time, see you. Rain drizzles from the sky. Shitoshito. Shitoshito. Snow falls slowly during a quiet night. Shin shin. Shin shin. Shin shin. Otsukare sama. What a great way to end something. Yep, yep. And it certainly keeps everyone happy.、Mm. Now, why don't we take a look at a few more uses of this phrase? Ah, Boru! Otsukare sama. Hi. In the first clip. Ah, Paul. Otsukare sama. Hi. Paul's landlady says, "Otsukare sama" when he comes home. He sure looked very tired, didn't he? And in the second. Otsukare sama de shita. Otsukare sama de shita. Everyone seems to be saying. Otsukare sama instead of cheers. That's correct. But I thought this phrase was used at the end of something. Though here, Paul's just come across his landlady and he's just beginning to celebrate with his coworkers. Why is that? Uh, I can't hear you. You never do, Professor Kindaichi. Could you do the honors, please? <laughs> Otsukare-sama is used first and foremost as a kindly word for someone who has worked hard, which is why the landlady says it to Paul, who's clearly had a tough day at the office. As for the second clip, otsukare-sama is used because these people have just finished a hard day at the office and are about to begin celebrating. This is a frequently used phrase in Japan. Mainly because the grueling work schedules tire people out quite frequently. Thank you so much, Professor. Let's try counting. One hundred yen, two hundred yen, three hundred yen, four hundred yen, five hundred yen. 600円700円800円900円1000円100円200円300円400円500円600円700円八百円、九百円、千円。Until next time, bye bye.